um, the Pinkertons trying to run John out of his home. I, I blame them too. <laughs> See? I well, mean, I'm, I'm going to document it all. <laughs> yeah. That's what happens when you live in a rent control apartment. Yep. Yeah, well, you know. Still, like, I have a lot of choices. <laughs> Mysteriously, things start to go, start to break. Yep. And they take their time fixing it. I'm, I'm scandalized and shocked that such a thing could possibly be true in this, mm -hmm. the year of our Lord, 2023. I was lamenting the fact that Eldare only has the Phantasm correction, and that's it. Everything else is fine. Everybody else said they uh, took all kinds of hits. What? What? what did they, what's going on? What, what, I, get, I guess points count. How did this not happen? I don't understand. So Eldar is still top tier, but we'll see how 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 top they are. I guess still really <laughs> top because I mean the I mean they're going to be even smaller than before. Maybe you don't take a wraith knight now, but you can still take a D cannon when you absolutely know you need to murder something. Mm -hmm. Right, because right. you can still trigger the devastating wounds. Um, so, you know, like big targets like knights or a big vehicle, you can still pretty much guarantee you're going to pick up. They still have tons of movement. They still have tons of tricks. They still have a uh, CP boy, dominance. <laughs> boy, <laughs> I tell you what. I, I think a good Eldar player is still going to cause people a lot of freaking problems. Because um, I right. just think, in general, they're just, you know, they just got better rules, and none of the rules really got changed, you know? Yeah, and it's just like it kind of reminds me of uh, Drakari in was it ninth edition, eighth edition, when everything was cheap, and then when the stuff got expected expensive, they just have better cheap stuff. It just seems like that. It's like yeah, you put the up, you have the cost on this this other stuff, but they still have this stuff that's still pretty good. You just never used it because it wasn't over the top good. So, so. Elder, so elves can't be fixed. <laughs> Cannot be. Well, it can. That's they just good. don't want. They just don't want to fix it. They think. Okay, they so think what I'm hearing is FLG fix. is banning Eldar. Is that what you just said? As a representative FLG, you're, you're banning uh, Eldar. What? I never said the word ban. Yeah, paint them into a corner like that. Isn't that nice? I just said they can be fixed. They just don't want to fix it. Rude. I mean, no, no, I think they, they, being... they think points are the way to fix it instead of mm. updating the rules or changing yeah. the rules. Mm -hmm. Make Eldar a T2. <laughs> Make Eldar great again. Like, Nur no, Nurglings are T3. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. I like I said, we'll see, we'll see in the next few weeks what, what how good they still are, because we know they're still good. Uh, Agents of the Imperium. Exaction squads. They're men ten now, right? Yes. It's well ten ten plus the one you could have a, a cyber mastiff. And why wouldn't you? And why wouldn't you? <laughs> no reason. No reason not to, right? Yeah. So uh, our army mascot. But yeah, they're they're it's basically ten man squad. There's no there's no other size. Hmm. Sus. It's ten plus the zero one mastiff. Uh, Death Guard got a whole ton of changes. Uh, spread the sickness. Uh, there's three of them, three different auras now that they can use. Either worsen the ballistic skill and weapon skill by one. Worsen the save characteristic by one. But that's actually pretty good. <laughs> uh, and then uh, worsen the leadership and OC characteristic by one. That was actually good, too. Death Guard don't look bad actually right now. Like the the change to their aura and giving them more options of what you can do is really good. They pretty much everything got cheaper, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. You know, Mortarian's only three twenty five. Um, there you go. You know, like uh, they're. I th I think they're actually in a better spot. And I think really what it comes down to is the aura of either negating, uh, worsening save by one, which really helps. Like make them yeah. less pillow fisted um 
like really helps like them actually push damage through or taking away OC one, like a negative one OC well, to a minimum of one. Yeah, yeah. But still like against a lot of like battle line units or things that mm-hmm. have like OC two that rely yeah. on just like that volume kind of turning that off and, you know, lets them really scrum over objectives really well. Uh, especially because a lot of OC2 infantry probably doesn't hit hard enough to get through the Death Guard. So they get to do their damage, they get to, you know, kill models, and then also lower their lowering their OC means that, oh, hey, now we control this objective, when before yeah. there were just too many of you for me to kill because, you know, my throughput isn't super high. So I think there's a... Yeah. I think Death Guard players, like dedicated Death Guard players, should be pretty happy. I think this opens up some moves for them. Um, mm-hmm. I think it really does. Yeah, they have to they have to pick one of the three at the battle formation setup. When you declare battle formation, that's pretty good because if you're going against like Space Marines or things like that with like decent armor or custodes, you take the negative one, you know, um, <laughs> you take the negative one save. And if you're going against freaking um, like a gaunt list, like a gaunt carpet list, or just like a or Gene Sealer cult or things that rely on like taking over objectives, right? Then you go with the negative, you know, negative one OC. Seems pretty good to me. Yeah. Uh, Death Watch. Their dragon fire round stratagems. A lot of bolt weapons team. now only. Yeah, it just says bolt weapons for all of them. Uh, all three of their special weapons, and they give the list of bolt, we- bolt weapons, which is actually a pretty pretty long list. <laughs> actually, <Yeah. laughs> uh, Gene Stealer Cult. They changed Cult Ambush. So that they come, they come back on a five instead of a four. Mm. And you only get the plus one if they're battle line, and adding another one to the result if it is the first or second battle round. Feels like they got kind of ganked. And then they changed. Uh, That's impactful. I mean, yeah. that. Uh, it's not as reliable to get them like you're not getting your aberrants back like unless you get lucky right like you're not getting um you're not getting a lot of stuff back which i think is what matters because now it's not like a guarantee like it well especially after round two yeah when you don't get that plus one because of and because usually a lot of things don't start dying until rounds two or three well it it gives them i mean i think it's nice because it gives them some insulation against an alpha strike and I think GSC is pretty good for absorbing alpha strikes because you can put mm-hmm. some, you know, targets, let them kill them, and then cool. Well, chances are I'm going to get them back, and that's okay. nice. Um, but it's not like constant. It's just not the <laughs> like, oh, they just keep coming and coming, <laughs> right? You can't gr- outgrind them. So I think it's a good oh. change. Yeah. Here I go killing again. Okay. I, I think GSC will still be strong, especially in the hands of a very savvy player. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't think it will be as. Um, frustratingly so right where you're just like man there's nothing i can do it's like i kill stuff and you just bring it right back and then it murders me again and what the fuck right yeah that was pretty frustrating i won't lie about that uh gray knights halo in soul fire stratagem is basically strategic strategic ploy john you want to talk about imperial knights or you want to just not talk about it i mean there's honey really <laughs> you you doing okay? I'm fine. I just don't know what to talk about. Like, you know, I'm fine. Everything got nerfed in the floor, and everything went up in points. And uh huh. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. You know, just let it out. You know, just not a whole lot. Uh, not a whole lot to say about that. Yeah. I mean, it was. I was expecting those kinds of nerfs to Eldar. Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> you're saying it's the wrong army. I, I'm just saying. Uh, you saying they spelled uh, Eldar wrong? Yeah, I, I feel like I was a little taken unawares, but uh, you know, we uh, we adapt and survive and don't play. And you're looking fine. at it, you're like, that's not the logo for Eldar. Right. <laughs> you know, we went out there. We went out there as a team. You know, we we played good. Um, <laughs> Honestly, that's all I can ask. Uh, sure, I think going good. out next edition, we're just going to have to, uh, you know, just just really think about uh, how can we can underperform so we get rebuffed. And uh, yeah, I think um, I think that's uh, what we got to do. You I know, what, you know what the right problem now. was? I should have played. played, played I should have played Imperial Knights at Hammer of Wrath. Yes. 
and, and uh, <laughs> so it's all John's fault. And, and not Eldari. Apparently, um, what I did worked, and uh, I sort of regret my life choices. <laughs> Tom, now we can talk about Leagues of Ocan. So, start with grudge tokens. Yeah, you start with more grudge tokens, Goodness. which is which is great. Um, there's some other things. You start with two judgment it? tokens. I forgot what that does, though. Yeah, well, the judgment tokens, they give you a plus one to hit and a plus one to wound. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, but now you can pick four units, you know, in a strike force. Um, right. And so I think it's really just to give them more to kind of work with. You know, it's just like I don't know. I, it's one. They're one of those armies where, like, you know, they they were really powerful out the gate. They kind of got toned down a bit, and then coming into this division, it was kind of like, eh, o yeah. okay, like what's going on? So their so. other their other ability is at the start of your command phase, any of these units, any uh, any of those units have been destroyed. So I guess the units that you pick that start with the gut judgment tokens. Mm -hmm. You gain a number of CP depending on how early in the battle they're destroyed. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. okay. Sure. Why not? Uh, Space Marines uh, Desolation Squads are cut in half and double the points, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yep. The one time I'm uh, glad I yeah, I feel like I, I feel like uh, the equivalent of like oh man, I'm really glad I didn't buy into that stock too late. <laughs> My God. So that's the balanced data slate. No changes far. to my, no changes to my chaos space marines except for points. Thank God. Mm. And I guess devastating wounds, but I, I only fired. I only fire usually at vehicles with my devastating wounds. So interesting. Or things with like a lot of wounds. So <laughs> it's usually not that big of a deal for me. Interesting choice. But. Uh, I think it's fine. Was I mean, like John, I was kind of like, I think they got the symbols wrong. I mean, in regards yeah. to the Al Aldari, and basically anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, it's just my humble opinion. Truth hurts sometimes, um, you know. Just saying. So, so we'll see. Tom, any any over overarching thoughts on all this? Um, I think overall, and I'm probably not unique in saying this. Like you know, Eldari are still going to be really good. I think definitely Custodes have taken a hit, so it'll be interesting to see where they land. Mm -hmm. Um, I am actually curious to see what happens with Tau because of their significant drops. But I'm also curious to see what happens with Space Marines because that codex is around the corner. Right. And is it, having is that for sure. I mean, it's the next one, and I'm assuming it's, if it's you know if one. they want if they want money, it'll be released sometime in the next month. <laughs> when did they confirm it was the next one? Did I missed that. I must have missed that. They did that they, in they, in the very yeah. beginning. They said it was the first two. Oh, that's yeah. right. That's right. You're right. They've right. given us a bit of a roadmap of who's next, so I think we know the 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 next ones throughout the year. Got it. Um, so Eldar will get their much needed buff in the spring. I think that's when their books come, supposed mm -hmm. to come out. Yeah. So we'll see. Um, overall, though, yeah, just um, I'm curious. I'm gonna start. I think I have a new list tinkering obsession that is may or may not be <laughs> distracting me at the moment. Do you have a subscription? Speaking of which, I do. So I'm I'm totally good on that front. For those of you that have the Warhammer, uh, the 40k app, after the first, it now it restricts you to only one list. Yeah. And if you want to make a second list, you have to delete that first list. If you had this in there before, the lists are still there. But if you want to make any other lists, you have to delete uh, delete those lists. Hmm. If you don't have a subscription with Warhammer Plus. Hmm. Sus. And you still have to buy the codex and get the codes. Well, yeah, of course. So that hasn't changed. If you played in 9th edition and you use and 
Uh, except the the app is actually useful this this time around. Mm -hmm. And seems to work as intended. Right. I mean, it's not that hard when you go by by a, a power level. You're wrong. What? What were we talking about? <laughs> we're talking about the uh, power bars, power level. Oh, oh. And the app. Uh, how, the, the, how the app? You have to. You have to basically. You only allowed one army list now, for free. Yeah, no, yeah. that's uh, that's some bullshit. I uh, uh, I mean, it's also, also sucks with the app of like I'm trying to build tiered lists, and uh, I can't because the content is now locked because it's a new codex. Except uh -huh. codex doesn't come out until Saturday. So yeah. here I am, kind of you know like. Oh, well, maybe mm, I guess not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're limited to just the one list, and then uh, unless you have the subscription, which is, I mean, that's that's better than the last army builder where you didn't get have but any. If I have access. the Warhammer Plus subscription, I hey, I still get everything I wanted, except for yes. the codex. Yes. Cool. So just like just like uh, in the just like in ninth edition. If you, as as the year goes on, and more codexes come out, those those, the old indexes will get locked. Got it. So what you're uh, saying is, unless you have the codex, don't so. be cheap. Mm -hmm. I mean, just for the army building aspect, it's, I mean, Warhammer Plus is all right, but it's not too bad. I like it. Like I said, it's 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 much better than the the previous app. So, but and also, like I said, when it's all power level, it's actually not that hard to make it work. So, true story. <laughs> um, and I think that's it for the balanced data slate. Unless anybody else wanted to add anything, I don't think there's too much else, is there? No, I mean, we kind of went over everything. I actually like a lot of the core rule changes, like except for the whole no Overwatch on Titanic. I think that's stupid. Um, I but think it's uh, great. No, it's dumb. But uh, I think overall, like I think a lot of the changes. I mean, the towering thing. Gee, I wonder why that was so successful. It was generally pretty lauded. Um, mm. I wonder why. Um, I think but I, uh, I don't think I approve yeah. where this conversation is going. Yeah, but um, you know, like I, I, I just feel like again, points adjustments are not enough, and I really, I mean, I get why they do it because it's the easiest, fastest way, and I think it's just, I mean, I think if we're being all real honest, I don't think GW invests the money and the effort to actually make the game as balanced as it could be, right? Because like you really have to actually pay real team of people to like comb through the books look for combos mm -hmm. evaluate what's too strong what's not what is the current meta right like and balance that for what is happening versus what's going to come out in three six months right like i think it is doable but i just don't think they want to expend the resources to do it and the whole like we'll just adjust points is like i mean it does help it has an impact but is it super effective no it's taking a sledgehammer to a problem that a scalpel would be better. They just don't want to pay for the scalpel. And sure. right. I, until they want to do that, I think we all just have to accept in a competitive environment that like, okay, there's just, there's going to be power builds and there's going to be optimal things. And you just kind of have to live with that. Right. Like if you're going to play competitive, just, you know, suck it up. Sorry. It is what it is. But <laughs> On the flip side, I think like you know people who are super casual who don't really care. It's not I very think this egalitarian is a of you. Great addition. Yeah, I'm, it's not my position. It's GW's. <laughs> I think if you're just like if you're just playing the basement with your friends, right? Like you know, and you don't go to tournaments and you have no real interest in being a competitive person. I think the game is great. I think I've really enjoyed my games, except when I play against like Eldar, right? Where it's just like I can't win. This is not, you know, like, yeah, I mean, right. I always have fun because I, you know, I, I play the other, I play my opponent. I don't play their army, right? Like, mm -hmm. you know, as long as I'm laughing, rolling dice, having fun, sure, whatever. But like, if I was in serious competitive mode and I'm like, I want to win this event, I want to do this. Damn, I'd be frustrated. 
right? Like I'd be really yeah. frustrated. Yeah, I, I already said my piece about the whole thing. So it's, <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll see what happens. We'll see how it all shakes out. We still got a, a, a bunch of tournaments coming up. We have SoCal Open coming up next month. So we'll see, we'll see oh, what happens, and we'll see yeah. with, with the cream rises to the top. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, look at Nova. Wasn't like seven of the top ten at Nova Eldar before the balance day of slate? Uh, I'm assuming. I'll just say yes. Don't, that fits my narrative. don't come in here with your facts and your <laughs> your figures and your truth bombs. But anyway, yeah, I'm I'm really curious to see what SoCal will look like because mm -hmm. um I don't is I don't know if there's another like super major until then, right? Like, is there another like super big event? Uh, between, Flying Monkey no. has like 150 people, and they're using okay. the balance data slate. Okay, that's that's a good size. That's a that's a good sample size, right? Like, I hate when it's like, oh, this forty man event. This dude won, you know, this dude went five and zero oh at this forty man event. I'm like, that's yeah. cool. With that doesn't mm -hmm. necessarily mean a lot, you know. Yeah. So. So yeah. So uh, other other news, uh, we had a changing of the guard over at our local FLGS. Friendly local, friendly local game store. If this is your Wait, first podcast, because you know every podcast is somebody's first podcast. What are you guys talking about? Oh my God! So we have ooh, a, a ooh, new ooh. owner, a new owner, and a new name. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't hear what Danny said, and I'm going to continue to ignore him. Fantastic. Uh. <sighs> The new, the new store is called Games at My Place. The old store was called Gameology. Was well, the name changed so, to Kurt? I mean, officially, but they, they haven't changed the signage yet. There's yeah, no they haven't changed the signage. Yet. What about the Facebook Not yet. name change? So then, no. Not yet. They're still working out the details in terms because it, Gameology was two stores. Look, and man, one website. I don't need your excuses. Well, I'm just explaining it to you since <laughs> you sound very simple and not very easy to and you're able to understand it. He um, may need he may need crayons. This is rude. I know. are very rude people. <laughs> so, yeah, so the the this just happened in the last couple of weeks uh, since the last episode in between the last episode and this episode. So, you can go to games at atmyplace.com. Uh, there is a newsletter. The website's not up yet. They're still in the process of transitioning over to the new store. Um, so we'll, we'll announce that as we go along. But as with anything, there's always, you know, fires to put out if anyone's ever had to Growing pains? take over for somebody. Growing pains? Growing pains, I guess is a good way to call it. One way to describe it: trial by combat. But, but uh, <laughs> no, no, I wouldn't call it that. Oh, that's unfortunate. Everybody <clears> likes <throat> a good trial by combat, Adam. Yeah, but I don't know if that's an apt uh, description. I'm not saying it's a good description. I'm saying uh, this is what the people want, and they should give us what we want. <laughs> if they want a trial by combat. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we're doing trial by combat now? That's Sweet. <laughs> Apparently, I don't know who's doing it. Well, not me so much as others. No, okay. I don't now, do, I now we're backpedaling. I assumed it was you. I am incapable of such things. <laughs> I'm a peaceful man at heart, Adam. Peaceful man. No, really. That's true. That's new. Excuse me. Well, good thing I'm not. All right. So here we go. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm on board. What are we doing? <laughs> we're discussing Amazing. transitioning uh, well we're discussing the new the new store basically discussing so, transitioning i don't think that's over for, for for those that <laughs> that have been to the store nothing's really changed uh they're hoping to you know get more stock in fix some of the the uh, issues we've had in the past so so we're looking forward to that the new owners i'm not actually some changes the new owner one of the new owners is Chad, who is who is formerly the manager of Gameology and Pasadena, and the the other the other partner is D, who is uh, if you ever if anyone played X Wing, and they listen to the Minox Squadron X Wing podcast, that's where he's from. Or if you just played X Wing, you would know him from uh, 
<clears throat> from just uh, that podcast and being on the circuit and running events at like LVO and things like that. So, right. so they're both the new owners. They're very hands on. Uh, whenever I'm at the store, I always see them at their little laptops, pulling their hair, their hair out, trying to figure things out. So they should leave their hair. In. One, this tends to go away on its own. There's no reason. Uh, one There's of no them is going to too late. Fall. Well, it's too late for one of them. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Just hey, friendly tip. Friendly tip. Um, yeah, so so we'll have more information as as the weeks go on and 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 as such. So hmm. seems very uh, we will have be having I believe we're gonna have a have a two day event at the store in December. The what? first weekend in September in December. So keep Christmas an eye out for that. Or the store is. Uh, once they get their their uh, accounts sorted with the BCP, uh, we already we already have the dates for Hammer Wrath and Battle for LA for next year. Uh, Battle for LA is at the end of April, and the only reason I know that by heart is because it is the same weekend as my wife's birthday, and I haven't had that conversation yet, so I'm sure it'll be fine. And uh, Hammer Wrath will be at the end of September. So if you're in the in the area, we sh will have a again once we get once uh, the store gets their BCP issue sorted, we'll have those up on BCP because people are, are already asking me about it, and we do plan on having it at the hall where we had Hammer Rat this year. So most excellent, plenty of room, nice place, plenty of parking, great Chinese food in the area. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. I I may or may not be cooking in the back. We'll see. <laughs> I hope so. I actually really want you to do that. Yeah, it would well, be pretty good. I I cook pretty well, so like you know, people should be happy, right? Like, sure. well, these things are trust fair. me. Fair points by Danny Ruiz. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, weird. He's so... not making us pay for anything, but he won't serve you unless you call him Tio. <laughs> <laughs> No, Papas. Come on. Papas. Okay, fair Small enough. Yeah. Uh, that's my favorite my favorite diner Small in uh price to pay. Favorite diner in Pasadena. I love it cuz one of the uh one of the waiters like just by habit cannot refer to anyone other than Mamas or Papas. And I'm just like, <laughs> uh, this is my this is my people's, <laughs> right? Like I don't even have to ask, you know, my my eggs come with, you know, salsa already on top, right? Like it's, nice. it's already <laughs> ready to go. You know? Which restaurant is that? Uh, Andy's on Colorado. Oh yeah, right across there. Their from, food's the good. Arms, oh, from the arms from the arms center. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah, it's all you know Latino owned, and mm -hmm. um, yeah, I go there all the time, as does my dad. So they know me, and it's just like, yeah, it's just nice. <laughs> and again, you know, it's nice when I just order my usual breakfast, and I'm like, oh, and it's just the way I like it. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. So all good. Uh, quick update about my game because I said we would talk about that. Yes. Uh, unfortunately for myself, anyway, uh, the the company that was putting out the game uh, folded. So I'll be getting the assets, if there are any, uh, back to me, and uh, I'll have to figure out how to put out the game. They still plan on putting out the game in one form or another. So uh, I'll give updates on that as we as we move along. Uh, I hope to have it out by next year, fingers crossed, but uh, we'll see. Uh, still in the process of getting the assets from the publisher once they finish with everything else. And uh, more news on that in the foreseeable future. But, but that's where it's at. Uh, there's other stuff I think we have planned. So we'll see. Just moving forward. I'm working on a game. Too. You know, we'll get Adams out and pretty first, and then I'll work on my game, which I, hopefully will be fun for people. Mm -hmm. It should be. <laughs> Tom, you have a game? Everybody has a game, apparently. What? Um, Is that a pre Tom has no game. Uh, I, apparently. Me, I wasn't informed that there was a test. You have a game. <laughs> we just haven't really had a chance to work on it. <laughs> yeah, <know>. that's... <laughs> um... Oh, um... No, no. Tom's my name. Being on TFG is my game. No, I don't have a game at all. So Tom does not judge and also does not make games. games. It's fair. Nah. It's fair. I'm a man of no talents. 
<laughs> well, see, Adam and I like making games because we've played probably more games than is healthy for anybody else. More that systems. Is, that is true. So I'm, I'm about to take Danny J up on his offer and be like, yeah, maybe I'll try In Country. It seems cool. It looks cool. And he yeah. he has all the models because he painted all of them. So so even better. So I don't have to do anything. And I, I still yes, got to paint. You don't. That's, that's the I only way I can get any models. of you guys to play anything, really. So What? I have okay, the models. That's not true. Them. I, have, I have the models, and when I get them painted, after <laughs> I get the Norns built, we can play <laughs> La Cucaracha, okay? Not that's to mention my, yeah. which, yeah, I built I to get them. so many damn uh, freaking hive, or what? what are they called? spire models oh, uh, and i painted so many of them too don't you dare say that you have to do that for me because i built so <laughs> much shit. that's only one army I like it. I'm a fan of this. yeah but i did it and you know did you did, did we play more than two games no and only no, you could host because it was the pandemic we did play and it was because of the pandemic and you could have hosted more games but you didn't <laughs> He said, "Hilarious, it's hilarious to me. I approve." Huh. Fair enough. Fair enough. But uh, yeah, so we actually do have a lot going on, and that's just outside of forty k. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we do we do stuff. We do stuff. We're people. We have fun here. We do things. So yeah, so. So we'll, uh, and like I mentioned before, uh, SoCal Open's coming up. Danny will be there with judging with me. Tom's going, right? Mm -hmm. Tom, you're going? I should be going, yeah, unless I decide to. John is to not going? It. No, I can't go. Okay. Oh. And uh, if you remember one of our older podcasts, uh, Jeff Poole will be there. The great Jeff Poole. Yeah, and again, if you go to SoCal, you get to make, you know, if you, ha you know, not during the tournament because I'm judging, but if you hang out after, you get to see SoCal, Danny. <laughs> it's always a good time. Well, let's be real, like, especially on a Saturday, later into round three, SoCal Danny might start creeping, and then we'll, you know, really hit SoCal Danny after. <laughs> yeah. So, no. SoCal Danny's worth seeing. Yeah. I'm a it's great worth, hang. Worth the okay. price of admission? It is worth the <laughs> price of admission for sure. Oh my god. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm not worried. No. Then after that is uh what's that little thing? Oh LVO. Yeah, the little oh, thing. Yeah, only LVO. Only so LVO. we're already gearing up for LVO. If you haven't got your tickets, uh they're sold out, but they always become available, so make sure you get on the wait list. Or just at least buy the badge. Just so you can get in and hang out. There'll be plenty to do. Um, John, Danny will be there. Tom will be there? Question mark? Are we talking about SoCal now or still? Or? No. LVO. 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 It, yeah, so if I, go to L, if I go to LVO, there's a chance I may not go to SoCal. I'm trying to. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I haven't really had those discussions yet. Sure. <laughs> okay, I need to have them so we can plan. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> John, John will be there. Should be. That is how planning works. Now that I think uh, about at it, at least for a day or two. <laughs> yes, yes, it should be there well, for two. A I think day or two. probably not worth it if it's just for a day. Yeah, definitely not worth it for a day. But yeah, I should be there. Sure, it okay. is. It's only a four-hour drive. You drive. You do a, a one-hour flight. You drive I home. Drive to Vegas <laughs> anymore? I'm too old for that nonsense. All I hear is weakness. Can't be driving John is just flying everywhere. You don't drive. My brother drives. I mean, <laughs> shut up. I don't understand why you. I understand why everybody got to be against me today, but it's fine. It's fine. Well, John, explain, well, to be fair, John Solis yes. nearly killed us one time, so yeah. it's all right. Too. That was on the way home. <laughs> that was on the way home. That was he only did, once. He did nearly kill us that one time. <laughs> we don't speak it. Oh we don't speak it. No, yeah, we so, don't. That was also that was, the one where you had the flat tire, Danny. And we had you changed. Yo, yeah, yeah, when I got home, yeah, yeah, Sorry. that was good. That so was, that, that was. that's the that was the week that was the one where it snowed. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was, was just right. a very it was eventful. Super idea. cold when we got to your house or got to John's house. Had yes, the tire my brother's house. Cold. 
Yeah, that was a good time, but uh, that was dumb. I did, I did enjoy the uh, the swerving, going off the road, the bump, and all of us, including John, Waking apparently up. asleep. And uh, <laughs> my only reaction up to it is just like, whoa, 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 whoa slow down, hold on, hold on. <laughs> yeah, hey, whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa, 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 guy. whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Basically, that was all of our reactions. So, see, that's why you need to be there, Tom. That's true. Yeah. You miss out. That's on why all everybody needs to be there. LVO was a great I, time. LVO is the best time. Dude, I loved it the last time I was there. I had a blast. Yeah. yeah. When was that? Like five years ago? Six. Before COVID? Six, six or seven. Hey, man, I think it's crazy? seven. You it was are, seven. You were in a foul mood, my friend. I told you guys, I have. Been, I am on I am on a no-chill bender. Both at work and at home. He's on a no-chill bender. Yeah, so doesn't happen very often. Well, actually, it does. It's usually in my head. Huh. This this week, apparently, I'm speaking the, the quiet parts out loud. That's fair. Like, we had a meeting at work, and they told us about this new policy, and all I did was start... I started laughing <laughs> during the, during oh, the team's good. meeting. Um, love it. Because it was dumb. And then an hour later, oh, forget it. We're not doing it. And I'm like, of course we're not. It's fucking stupid. Anyway. Of course we're not doing it, morons. <laughs> <laughs> It's fantastic. Uh, I think we'll call it there because now I'm rambling. That's fair. We don't get to talk about, um, you know, if you're a store owner or a new store owner, what not to do. <laughs> I gave you guys a chance. Nobody said anything. I it wasn't my intention. There's a lot of death. <laughs> there's a lot of dead in me today. I can't. I can't muster that up. <laughs> I mean, I can. I can go right now. There's, there's I mean, plenty. There's right plenty. Now. There's plenty of. I'm just saying about if the next episode. No, I'm just saying if you are, you know, if you're a game store owner and you sell your game store, there's generally some things that I don't know if you know this, but are kind to the, you know, people coming in, which is don't delete your entire inventory system so they have to enter in manually every single item that they sell now every time someone buys something. What? Um, yeah, I, 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 that seems like uh, doesn't that's not super tasteful. I don't think that's very helpful in the transition. Um, don't try to get the electricity shut off. That just seems like, um, you know, there's ways to transfer the power bill and the owners and you don't just have to call and try and shut it off. Especially before um, a holiday weekend. Yeah. This is don't, often what is referred yeah. to as a dick move. Yep. Uh, <laughs> if they're, you know, if you have a store credit and the new owners are very kindly, even though they technically don't have to decide to honor that credit, um, don't delete the database that tracks it. And definitely don't invent new entries into it for no reason, right? Like, don't put all of a sudden one of your friends has five hundred dollars in store credit a week after the sell the sale has officially happened. You know, well, or the probably or the transfer, probably a good yeah, idea, ownership transfer, yeah, yeah. Um, and you know, like, make sure you pay all of the people that you had contracted with previously as the you know store. Make sure you pay them before you transfer. And uh, don't, you know, don't plead poverty slash, oh, there's just a problem with BCP. And uh, yeah, in general, in <laughs> general, don't. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm just saying in general, um, you know, like we, you know, there are there are short kings in life, but it really helps if you are one of the short kings in world to uh, cultivate that inner love and respect for yourself and not just be a fucking little asshole about things all the time because you can't help with the fact God said you're going to be five five, brother. And uh, you're going to have to learn to live with that. Yeah. Conor also McGregor's helps. fine. Seems, what about you? Uh, it's all about choices. Seems succinct. Yeah. And like, you know, don't uh, don't act all badass because you served in the military when you were a desk jockey the whole time. Nah. Right? Oh, wow. Geez, that's really getting specific. Oh, Jeez. <laughs> uh, Look, this isn't about anyone specifically. <laughs> I'm not saying it is. I'm just saying in general. <laughs> These are rules to live oh by, God. right? Like, and again, if you are one of our short kings, just remember you're a king. It's great. You don't, you know, you're, you, it's okay, man. Like just, they, you know, they patched, okay. they patched Baldur's Gate where even as a halfling, you can still have good relationships. I mean, just, just treat your life yeah, like just that. You just just accept the patch. Yeah. You know? I'm, I'm just saying, you know, you gotta love yourself and, uh, you know, things will, things will do better after that. Just, you know, always remember work on loving yourself and things will work out. And, you know, otherwise, like, you know, don't be an asshole. <laughs> sure. 
you know, as, as you know, as our Lord and brother Jesus Christ said, like, don't be a fucking <laughs> cunt. Okay. <laughs> is that an exact quote? Yeah. I need, that, I need the, ver- that, the verse. <laughs> actually, it's Mark 425 to be specific. Uh, and the Lord spake saying. That's, that's the Australian hey, translation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the Australian Bible. <laughs> don't be a cunt. Yeah. Okay. Philistines have been a bunch of cunts. <laughs> I think we'll we'll uh, leave call it there. there. I think we'll call it there. Yeah, that, that yeah. might be a, a good spot to to call it at. Um, thank you, everybody, for listening. Uh, don't forget to visit our sponsors, Hammerhead Games. Just go to hammerheadgames.net or check out their Shark Tank. They only have deals. Oh, can I can uh, I do a shout out real quick? That's personal maybe. podcast business, please. Fine. If you're looking for deals, uh, you know I've got a uh, I've got the Turtle Army, the bane of uh, John's existence, for oh, sale. Boy, it sure is. I've got a I've got some Seraphon, including a uh, Dread Saurian. The like the it's painting, the like where I actually that's the Forge War model where I actually tried. So it's it looks really good. <laughs> Um, we have an old battle. Or... Yeah, yeah, we have an old battle report of it mm-hmm. somewhere on the YouTube's. Um, it looks really nice, and I've even got a horse heresy world eaters army, not painted by me, so it looks fucking pretty slick, um, including a dread claw. So you know, um, if uh, especially for TFG listeners, got you a real good deal. So you know, just hit me up. <laughs> Fair just contact the show, and we'll get you in touch with Danny. Uh, anything else, Danny? Is that it for? Uh the sales pitch uh and don't forget uh games, games of my friends right like our uh our games new sponsors. Are no, no limbs our games, games my at my place friend. god damn it danny you're back <laughs> john now we're talking about yeah. right games at my place and you spell out even though the signs will say games and the little at which i forgot what the name was even though we looked it up that one time amperat amper ass amperat so not ampersand and amperat amperat <laughs> So games at my place, but on the website is games at for at my place dot com. Sure. Don't have they don't have it up yet, but the, you can sign up for their newsletter, so you, they can tell you um, if you are in the Pasadena area, especially Old Town Pasadena. Just stop by and visit, say hi. We'll be there, especially on Tuesday Tuesday nights. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, don't forget our other sponsor, Hobby Goblin Hobby Goblins. Check them out at hobbygoblins dot net. We're and by I Hobby believe Goblins? Hobby Goblins. Those are the guys that do the trophies yeah, for yeah. play games be nice to each other, Child Awake. Since they uh, let me get stuff at a, at a deal. Cool. I mean, I'm not complaining. Those guys are great. I'm just, I was like, just didn't know. like if we if we want like a 3D printed bolter or Old whatever. Man Soul is over here making wheel and deal and all on his own. The whole company. That's for you guys too. Uh huh. Uh-huh. You guys just don't pay attention. Uh huh. What'd you say? Yep. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, uh, don't forget our Patreon. Just oh. go to T- just look up TFG Radio on Patreon. I'm gonna forget the Patreon, and that gives you to the Facebook. It gets you into our Facebook group because we're all old, and it just allows you to ask us any questions off outside of the the podcast and uh, just talk to us about stuff. Yeah, so, talk to us about. I think things. that's it. Danny had to go. He did. Uh, Tom, any last uh, last words for the evening? Uh, come prepared. Okay. Just always think about that. Come prepared. Right. Like All update right, your out. out. He's waxing philosophical on us. We better wrap this up faster. <laughs> yes. I'm I'm Captain Hindsight at the moment. <laughs> John, any wise words of wisdom for all those? Night players, or yeah, anything? Uh, you should just uh, play Eldari for a while. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and when's the next day? Just late six months. You got a good six months. You're fine. Well, for Eldar, it's when their book comes out. When is that? Uh, it says spring, so it could be about around the time of the data slate. Cool. Play Eldari for just, a while. That's my that is just my in suggestion. T- just in time. For GW to to do like custodes and reduce the points on the Eldar stuff when after the book comes out. 
I don't know if they'd make that same mistake again, but that's fine. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't put it past them. But, uh, all right. Well, again, thank you, everybody, for listening. Uh, we'll see you all in a couple of weeks. Good night, and have a pleasant tomorrow. <laughs>